Welcome back to the McMahon Group, everyone. All right, it's Angela's favorite part of the show and mine as well. Joining us this morning for our weekly group scoop is Valley Attorney Monica Lindstrom. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And the one and only wonderful Brittany Hoffman. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, ladies. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Okay. After the holiday weekend, do we have a lot of stuff to talk about? Yes. yes. Okay. Dancing with the Stars. Chaz Bono, here we are, season 13 is the most talked about celebrity ever. Yep. And I feel, you know, and at the same time, he's getting dissed. And, and here we people are, Lisa, are like 2011, 2011, yeah. and people are still upset that he, she is on the show. Yeah. He, she, is that is that the debate? Is that why people are so upset in your opinion, Brittany? I definitely think so. I know that, you know, transformation is not always accepted in this community. And so mm -hmm. trying to, I don't want to say <clears throat> shove it down people's throats, but enlighten people as to this occurs, this happens. You know, this is something we're going to need to accept in this new generation, the new age. Mm -hmm. And I think it's great that Lacey Swimmer, his partner, has come out and mm -hmm. said, you know, we don't need to judge. You know, he can be judged on the dance floor, depending on how great he is. So I think it's great that they already have that companionship that shows that they're going to be a tight team. Yeah, exactly. What do you think, Monica? Well, I think Dancing with the Stars does a good job of bringing issues to light. Mm -hmm. um, they did it with a, what, what's her name? She was overweight and... Uh, Chrissy Alley. Alley. Yes, yeah, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. You know, and that was really, really big. Here's just another example of them taking something that they believe needs to be out there. I think it's a policy statement mm -hmm. by them. Do you think so? Or maybe mm -hmm. do they just not care? Do they just say, this is who this is? I think they care. Because it shares... Son. I think it's the issue. I think the shows like to make policy statements and like to put stuff out there to be controversial. It brings them more attention. So yeah, I definitely. think that they intentionally look for people. They put Nancy Grace on there. Yes. Now, I love Nancy Grace, but that's for other reasons. Right. Well, and then look at the other, the, the seniors who have been out there on the dance floor. And they've given them a chance. Yeah. I mean, they go from one extreme to another. Right. So I think, you know, just yep. give them a chance. And hopefully the people who are so offended by this will not tune out, that they will get updated. And even if they do tune out it's going to be in the forefront so much that That's they're right. going to find out more That's about right. it anyways yeah and change takes time comfort levels take time time yes. so right. maybe this yeah. is just something yeah. that people you're right are just seeing they may get more comfortable it's kind as of the time first time on. we've seen it on Absolutely. tv mm -hmm. yeah Definitely. Mm -hmm. well and talking about change how about madonna celebrating her 53rd birthday with her little boy toy I love that. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good uh, definition of a cool wow Holy moly, he is cute. So she's 54, he's 24? Mm -hmm. Cute yes. as in, you know, could be her son. Cute. Cute. Cute, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, more power to her, but nice. wow. But we don't yeah. think a thing when we see a 54-year-old man with a 24-year-old woman, do yeah. we? I think look he's at got it. money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Yeah, so right. this, she's got money? Definitely. Probably. Well, he's a French dancer, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And they, I think that they were dating, then they kind of broke up, and they were back together again, and they were seen kind of snuggling over at the Hamptons and stuff on the beach, and uh, more power yeah. to her. Exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. I don't know. My feeling it's is fine. she's got Lourdes. Lourdes is, what, 14, 15 years old. I think Closer it's Closer to his age yeah. than yeah. she is. Strange. No, you're right. I, but, yeah, you know. I, I'm with you. I think it's a little strange. Well, maybe, okay, if instead of 24, maybe up it to 30. How's that sound? A little yeah. bit up to 30? How about 34? 34. 35. Yeah. You know, then I, I think know. we're, get, we're well, getting you, there. I look at it as you only have one life to live, so why not enjoy it? <laughs> right. So go Madonna. <laughs> Speaking of that, okay, so Jada Pinkett Smith, Mark Anthony, did they have an affair? What are your thoughts? I don't think so. I... I would like to imagine that Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith are yeah. such a strong couple. You know, they have to watch out for those kids. Sure. You know, they were, Mark Anthony and um, Jada Pinkett Smith were on the show together. Although I was, I watched the first season of the show and I was hooked. I started watching this season and I understand why it got canceled. Mm -hmm. You know, it just didn't have that dramatic effect that it did the first time. Michael Barton was coming off as a little more um, strong-willed and I didn't like that so much. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I understand why the show kind of took a turn for the worst mm -hmm. so but I don't think there was any affair there so yeah and those two now Will Smith and Jada they've been together 14 years of yes. marriage yes and so I don't know but then all the rumors were starting to swirl around Mark Anthony with a flight attendant and I think that there was a lot of things that were fueling a fire and then that was just yes. the main thing that lit the match I, I think where there's smoke there's fire I mean I know there are a lot of rumors out there I know people have to deal